Hi! Welcome back to Dogwood Paper Arts. This is Angela Toma and we are going to get busy right now on this envelope and I forgot to bring my little tab thingies over. Shame on me. But I have pre-cut a few pieces for this envelope but there's some things we have to do because we need more envelopes. We can't just use three. I mean, that's not the idea. The idea is to use like six or eight or ten. Right? I think. I think. I, you know, I don't really know. Uh, it's hard to say with me. I like to keep going and going and going. I'm like the Ever Ready Bunny. I like to really dress them up. And... Uh, see how far I can go with something to make it look like something. Now I can't remember if the other girls sewed on theirs. I know I can't remember if Martha did and I can't remember if Rachel did. Um, I am not sewing on this one. Not this time. Um, I may make another one of these and sew on it. Let me grab my little things that I need to make a, if I could find it. Oh, um, is this it? No, that's not it, Ange. This might be it. That is not it either. Oh dear, I wonder what I did with them. I'm sorry. I'm such a... Um, I have so many of these boxes and I haven't marked them all yet. After I uh, took out a bunch of my beads and stuff. Oh, they should have been right here. Where, where did I put them? Are they here? Oh yes, here they are. Those are black. I guess I only have black. This one looks a little more old fashioned. I think we'll go with that. I don't have any brass ones. I wish I could find brass ones. Got these on Amazon. I can't remember if they're called picture something about pictures. I know that. Um, and I will need some little brads. I hope I have a tiny brad because it's going to take a tiny brad. Those are not tiny brads. I don't see a tiny... That, that might be a tiny brad. They didn't come with bread. They came with screws. Um, because they go into a picture frame. No, that's not a tiny brad. We'll have to hope one of these is tiny enough. There we go. my boxes over there for right now. Okay, so welcome back and here I am. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ange. So the brads are going to be one down here and one up there.
Let's flip that page over. And they're going to need a little something to raise them up a little bit underneath because the envelopes have things in them. So that's going to be one pokey tool or an awl, whatever one you want to call it. That's going to go there. Now to make a little riser under it, some people use beads. Some people use um, those little puff thingies. I have used those before and I do have some. I used to use um, this paper. I used to just cut it into little tiny squares and do it that way. But we're, we're going to try this. Don't know if it'll work. Ah, I got glue. I'm glued, I'm glued. Anyway, if you go to look for these little picture, picture turner things, it, it's something to do with um, hanging pictures or putting pictures in frames or something like that. I don't know if this is going to stick on there or not. Because it's got to stick to metal. I can see where a bead would definitely help. Go around the back. See if I can come around to the front. Well, I pushed it all the way through and it went right to the front. <laughs> I don't want that to happen again. I don't think that's going to work. I mean, it could. Let's see if it raises it up enough. I kind of like the paper better. Yeah, the, um, this is too soft of a piece, so don't use a squishy thingy. Um, they're too soft and they squish down flat. And it doesn't make a nice secure hold. So, I'm going to use um, some little squares. I'm going to put them underneath there is what I'm going to do. And even if they show, it'll be all right. Um, glitter glue. finger. Um, it takes a, a pretty good stack really to get them up high enough that they will work. I think that will do it. It makes it about the same thickness as the envelope here. So let's go ahead and 
um, figure out where we want to poke that hole. There we go. Now I'm going to take this and go this way with it, I think, because I can clip off the back. I probably should have used that other glue. Oh no, this is kind of a messy doodad, isn't it? finger okay now I'm going to just clip off a little bit of this paper really don't care if a lot of it shows. It's really not that important. Um, did I poke my hole in this one or not? Oh, that's the wrong one. I thought I poked my hole in one of them. red wings if it will let you unless of course we have glued them together and that has stuck oh yeah I did glue them together you see that <laughs> okay now you'll want to make this tight back here so that it will hold now I'm going to glue down the brad I didn't glue the paper to the paper up here because I want that part to turn. So I'm going to glue down the brad and then I'm going to apply a piece of this tape just to kind of secure it in there because I really don't want it to poke out later. This tape will stay down since it is taped. I'm just rubbing the tape in so it releases from the the backing here. There we go. Okay. I see it's still going to move. This may not work. I may be dead wrong here. But, just to be safe. I put that one down I have to oh you know what I forgot to put down my other pieces darn it 
I was going to put my envelope on. I have to figure that out. Mm, I should have flipped that over so it wasn't so blue against blue there. Oh well, it is what it is. All right, let's put that on its belly there. And find this. Try it out. Yeah, it's not, it's still not going to hold well. So, I can see it's just going to pop up. So that is not going to work. Oh, and what did you do? Well, you know, the next best thing, something that ties it. Can I take that off so I can remove the brad? Yeah, that, uh, that tape, um, the acetone in this glue melted the tape. Anyway. So, that's how that went. So oh, we're just kind of piecing this together right now. I like that little piece there. I think that's very pretty. This little piece, the little scrolly stuff. Okay, let me cut that off with my cutter. I forgot to set my timer, so let me set it. I've already been with you about, what, 10, 12 minutes? Oh my goodness. some glue on there. Don't really want to scrape the plastic, but I guess a little scrape would look better than a big glob of glue. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. That's done. We took care of that. All right, this one. What was I going to put on here next anyway? No, well, I'm gonna put this down first. Just 
heard from our kids. And they are going to come by and pick up the dog this evening when they get back here. We've had our grand dog for, I don't know, almost a week. Boy, is she a little bed hog, I'll tell you. <laughs> but she is the most precious dog ever, ever, ever. Okay, let's go back up here. We're going to open this up. A little bit here. I'm going to make myself push this thing in there. And I'm going to look to be sure it's, you know, semi. There we go. There. That looks nice. I like it. Um, still going to have to figure that part out. But I think I might have an idea. I think maybe... have one. I need a tie or something. I don't know. I have to think on it. Maybe it's just going to get tied down at the end. You know, when we, we make the full tie. I think that's how we'll do it. Okay. We need an envelope. Okay, we have some more of these, and I have some of these, and what else do I have? I have some of these, and some of these, and I think I have one other one. Maybe not. I thought I did. I thought I had the one with the little card in it. But maybe not. Maybe they just had that one in white. You're thinking, how is she going to use that giant square? And Well, this is the one I really wanted to use on here. But it will not go on this window. On the window side. As you can see. That was originally my idea, and I've already, although it could go on the, it could glue on the back and become a little side pocket on each side. it to be over the window part. Um, I think it's better to come up here with it. But, I might need another layer of an envelope like this. I do have these. These are a open top type. those. 
Oh boy, those are thin, thin, thin. Now these could come over here and hinge out this way. I mean, that would be ultimately the best way to send it, wouldn't it? Hmm, I wonder what I did with my open package. I know I have open packages because I use these in... Um, let me throw that away. These are nice and heavy duty. I love them. That gives us those two. That would give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine envelopes. These envelopes, we would make them side loading. This one would leave us a top load right here and maybe remove the flap. But boy, these are thin, 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 very thin. I don't know how they hold up. And then I do have these. I don't need the bag for those either. These are the little coin envelopes. Um, Oh, and I was looking at these. I wanted to use this one, but I'm going to cut it the same and it'll be a side tuck. So if that's going to be a side tuck, I wonder if that should go up and that should go up. Well, maybe this could be an open top, and these could be the sides. And you can see we're going to cut it off. Right there at the edge. You know, we could go that way. And this could become the front of our... Oh, I've got a piece of glue in there. Inside. Got it. <laughs> that could be. Nothing says we have to put more envelopes up here. I mean, we could make a flip down here. 
That would be a good one. We haven't decorated that one yet. That would be good. Then you just have a little note down there or something. So we could do that. And we could do that here too. The reason we can do that here is that even though we've already got our paper on here, this can get glued here, here, and here, and it can be a little tuck pocket right here. Right here. Yeah. Then we would have an envelope there. That would be kind of cool. Kind of like that. I do kind of like that. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm doing it. Decision made. Can't talk me out of it now. Okay. We need a little bit of this on the inside flap. And the reason for that is that this is sticky, and if it gets wet, then whatever we want to put in our little tiny pocket won't fit. So, we have to do the inside of each one. I think the best way to do that is to open our glue. I don't want to put it right on the edge because I want it to flip open nicely. <laughs> okay, there's that one. Yeah. Let me glue this one down because we're going to put one on both sides. Okay, there we go. Let's take those apart. Whoops. Little piece off. I missed right there. Okay, now we'll need to decorate the front. We have this color paper. What do we want? Let's find some pieces that we have. Do we want that? Not real fond of that. I do love I do love this. So on this side I'm going to put this one. Mm 
I'm going to take off that little bit of stuff on there. Oh, well, I'm going to cut that side off, so it doesn't matter. Open my camera. This one will be able to go a little closer to the edge because it's um, on the outside of the bend, but you don't want to go over it, over that little line there, the bendy line. on the inside because this is just a tuck spot but we will need it right here okay let's go ahead and apply this um, I'm going to put it kind of even underneath this but I'm only going to glue on three sides and leave the top open. I'm going to give it a little area for the hinge. <laughs> for a second there I thought, oh, I did it wrong anyway. <laughs> that will be good enough. Okay, and there we go. We have a little pocket, and we have now have a little tuck in here. That we'll need to put something in. Okay, let's move over to the other side. We have to do the outside. Move that up. I think we'll just use the same. Oh, you know, can we do that? We can't because the inside will be covered right here. So, what we have to do then is put it on the outside here, and we've already got a paper there. So this one is on the outside of, inside of the other one, and outside here. This one will be just the opposite. It'll go this way. So we won't put it down until we put the paper on. And we won't have to do the other side. Okay. So there's that. Now, what do I want to do with this one? I want to do something with it. Maybe the square one's just not going to get included. Maybe this one is not going to get included. Because... It is very, very thin. I think we will use another one of these. Only this time we'll make the um, pocket on the side instead of the top. 
And I don't think we'll put a window in it. I'm not sure. I am not so sure. Well, we know we're going to cut it off right. Here. Let me cut both of those off at the same time. there. Okay, so if we're going to hinge it, are we going to hinge on the inside or do we want it to go that way? Excuse me, my nose is running. Not mean to be a sniffle, but I am. I think we'll have to go on the inside here. So let's glue this down here and here. But before we do, I wonder if we should. Um, this is going to open this way so you'll be able to see this. Unless you flip it open and open it the other way. Okay. So we want to cover the inside with a piece of paper. Now, do we want it to be one of these? Where's that pink? Oh, I hate to use the pink, pink, pink all the time. I'm coming back to this one. Oh, we need those as tags. Okay. Don't panic. We have coffee dyed paper we can use. But we also have more of this. And we have this. That would look nice in the inside. Kind of a wood with roses on the edge. Okay, talked myself into it. Doesn't need to go all the way down. There. To there. see where I put the line. It's too far away. Well, I guess I'll have to stand up and look. Ah, there it is. put it there. Okay. So we're just going to put that in on one side here right now. And then we may have to slip one in on the other side. Um, I just want to put that in there before I before I close it up because it's easier to get in.
getting caught up on everything. Oh, excuse me, my nose is being naughty right now. Okay. Now, we're going to really kind of think we better put something on there, on the inside there too. I love this paper for the outside of the envelope. Where's that white? So this one is going to go in this way, like this, going to line it up with the other one, and the glue is going to be on this pink side. It'll work. I hope. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'm going to say, oh, make that envelope into a tag. Okay, so in it goes. Before we get the other one all stuck to it, line this one up with the one underneath. Okay, line it up, and there, there, there. Okay, lined up. I gotta go off my hands. Okay, and then this one is going to fold over it. That's going to have paper over it eventually, so that'll be okay. Push that down. Now, let's close this end. Might have to trim that a little bit if our envelope is, if our insides are sticking out. Don't want your insides sticking out. <laughs> that would be disaster. Okay, now we're going to open it on this side. And I'm going to do that with my machine over here. La la, la 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 la. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Now let's go that way because we wanted the roses to show. They don't show if you look in the pocket that way, but they show this way. Okay, when that dries, we'll put a finger hole in it. And I really like this paper showing. So, let's see. We need something heavy duty to attach here to there going to get covered. We know that. And we know we're going to attach here. So, let's take a piece of... I wonder if this is going to be thick enough. 
Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. And I need to cut that down slightly. Sometimes the quickest way to cut something down is to put it on your scoring board. We know we're going to have a half inch score and we know we don't want to be more than a half inch on the other side so we'll score it again and cut that score off. Quick, quick. And that gives us another hinge. Let's apply our pressure to our hinge and find our envelope. We will first attach it to one or the other. I'm not sure yet. Um, don't cut that off yet, Ange. Okay, here we go. Going to be right there. Well, going to be very close to that. And then we're going to give it just a little side clip. Just a little bit. Okay, so this going this way. This must go on here just like this. Okay. And here we go. Making a hinge. Checking it twice. Gonna find out if it's naughty or not. Going to maneuver that right, right to the edge because I'd rather have it sticking over a little bit. Then to be all the way on the envelope. But look at that, nice and even. Woohoo! Okay. The reason I did it this way is because I've already decorated this. Now I'm going to have to put my hinge on it. So now I'm going to have to um, do something with this hinge. And so, what the hey, might as well do it right, huh? So we're going to apply that there. Oh, that is a crooked envelope. Now, before I run and slam that down on there, I'm going to put that over the window. I'm going to put it down right on the edge, lining up three edges, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Ta-da! And there it is. Oops. <laughs> That doesn't help. <laughs> oh, no, 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 there. It's a, oh, you do. It's just supposed to be covering the window, not hogging up the space there. There we go. I'm not gluing our window totally closed. Okay, there's that one. Okay, we got that, we have that. Now, we still have room for this envelope. 
on top here. We still have to cut it off. But I still want to use it. I can't help it. But I think maybe if we want to use a couple more of these, now is the time to use Oh, that's this one. Oh, they're back here. Now is the time to use these. Here. And here. And then... No, that, was, that would not work. Maybe we won't use this one. Yeah, I think not. I wonder if those should have holes cut in them. Anyway. Okay, so this is where we're going with it. I think I we have company, so I'm going to have to get going here. And I will get back to you and we will work some more on this. Um, obviously, we're going to go the other side the same way. So when we come back, we will decorate up our pockets and we need to figure out a tie. Something that ties it all closed. And I think it's going to have to come from this side. And it's going to have to wrap maybe one. Don't know. Anyway, we have company, so I'm going to have to go and see what's up and see who's here and visit for a little bit. And so I will get right back to you as soon as everybody's gone and I will see you. Well, the video will air tomorrow. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye bye for now. Hello, hello, hello. I am not an envelope person. Too many complications. Okay.